Hello, everyone. Today, I've been looking forward to this session for quite some time because I had this idea that the fact that the Mars rover went to Mars, managed to land, um, I'm not necessarily in favor of it from a kind of environmental point of view, but it's there now, so we might as well enjoy the fact it's discovering lots of things uh, there along the way. And it's obviously going to be there for many years. And I thought that it would be really interesting to see the extent to which we could build a team, um, a team with um, a dataverse for teams data, a set of data entities, and build a power app from that and populate that power app using forms and get the people that are in the presentation or in this session to actually help me to create something cool uh, that we can then display later on. Now, I am joined here today by Cheryl Netley, who has agreed to be my co-pilot for the day. Uh, Cheryl, um, Cheryl has been doing the course for a little bit and providing me with some really useful feedback along the way. And, um, and so if I make, if I rush a bit too quickly, then Cheryl is gonna, is she's going to put me in my place and so on. Cheryl, you're on mute at the moment. Um, but uh, if you want to say hi to people, then, you know, go for it. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Hello, everyone. Great. Great to see you all. And uh, thanks. Thanks again, Rory, for, for letting me co-pilot you on this uh, mission. <laughs> yeah, I accept. <laughs> it, does sound, it, it does sound like an mission. So <laughs> I would like to do this thing in about an hour. So here is the object. In fact, what I'll do now is I'm going to go back to sharing my screen and I'm going to show you what it is that we're going to try and create in an hour. Um, and at any minute now, I'm going to have to speed up because I suspect that if I don't, then uh, then life will get interesting. So I'm now going to share my screen and show you what uh, I'm going to try and create in in the space of an hour. So I need to put that on to screen one. OK, share. Now, can everyone see my screen? Um, so I'm going to go full screen on that. So you should be able to see, I'm going to press start on this and see if it actually starts. Yeah. So no, don't do that. Uh, so let me just check. Ah, there we need Brilliant admin. So this is a, this is my fully created version. In fact, I'm going to stop sharing uh, and I'm going to share again because I need to share it with a bit of sound. So the idea is that we will create a presentation with a bit of sound. So there's Barry, David Barry down on the left hand side singing Life on Mars. And then I'm going to uh, untick the admin. I should be able to click start. Now, the very first image that comes in isn't actually an image at all. So, so oh, here he goes. Yeah, well done. Um, <laughs> he's singing away here. Jim, Jim. Yeah. So, so now we've got the images coming in and so on. And um, we'll have something to do. Um, he's quite loud, isn't he? <laughs> quite but, loud. Yeah, you get the idea, though. Now she we've got and um, just put him up to the seat with the clip. So shut him up. Um, but you can see some interesting things going on already. And, and a lot of the premise of this is that that is to have um, an app where I'm able to um, I'm able to have an image that is fading in and out. I didn't want to have harsh images going in and out. And I will show you mm. the technique that I've used for that. So. I'm, I am gonna... Oh, I, how do you do that? Just Sorry? tell me. You wanna know now? No, no, we'll, we'll do that. I'll show you the formula for it. It's, it's quite straightforward. So it's based on a timer and a few if statements and so on, but, but it's, you know, it's pretty straightforward. So we'll be okay on that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share my screen again. Wow. Um, so zoom, get you guys down the bottom there. And I am 
now going to share my screen again, but I want to use my top screen. So I want to use that one there and then share. Because what we're going to do now is I am going to create the team and literally go from completely blank. Uh, so everyone can see my screen, I hope. Yep. Yep, you can yep. see my screen. Yep. So the first yep. thing that we do in this instance is we would go to Teams. Um, there we are. Join or create a team. Uh, then we're going to go to, I'm going to go pretty fast in this, by the way, create a team um, from scratch, going to create a basic team. And I'm going to make a uh, public, anyone, people need permission to join. I want one of those teams. And I'm going to call this perse perseverance. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to click create. So my team will create pretty quickly uh, on this. Uh, and then I'm not going to add any members to it. Um, I could do, I could just add tester because I've got a tester uh, user there, could add them to the to the team, that would be fine. Um, and then I close that. And now we have a team and it, it's it's really not ready at all for, for anything because it is a team, but it doesn't have a Dataverse for teams. Um, uh, it doesn't have an instance of Dataverse for teams at this time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on to my team if I can general. And in fact, I need to go on over to power apps. Now you may not be able to see power apps on the left hand side, but if you don't, you go onto the three dots, then you type in power apps and then you click on that. And then you, what you do is you right click on it and you pin it if it's not there already. So once, uh, once you've got it there, you then click on Paris and you can see, look, there's a problem right reading this app. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to refresh the page because Paraps, Paraps um, and Teams, you know, it's it's an integration of, of sorts. It doesn't always work perfectly. I was finding it was being interesting there, but this is the experience that I was hoping to get to. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to build. Then what I'm going to do is I am going to, and I don't want to be on experiments. I, in fact, I'm going to get a home. Then I'm going to go to create an app. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose my newly created team that never existed before. So there's perseverance there. And then I'm going to click create. Now, the first thing it's going to do when it does that, it's going to say, hey, I've never created an app in this. Well, in that case, I'm going to need to create a Dataverse for Teams instance, a, a place that we can put our data. So this is a bit like a cooking show. So what's happening is that I have just put this into the oven. And whilst this is in the oven, that gives me the opportunity to, or maybe it's ready. It doesn't matter even if it isn't ready, because I'm still going to do, oh, look, that was really, that is a lot quicker than it used to be. That is definitely, it used to take maybe five minutes for this to, to all get created. And now this is, <laughs> that is pretty quick. Uh, so I'm not going to create the app straight away. What I'm going to do is just refer, I'm going to cheat. I'm actually going to go back to the app that I did create uh, and then just, just remind myself of all the different little bits and pieces. Um, so you can see I've got a little timer on the right hand side. Okay, good. So there are some techniques that I want to show you straight away, and I'm just going to go into make.powerapps.com. And I just want to show you a few little techniques that I'm going to be using in this. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do, maybe just create myself a little app. Um, I'm just going to go canvas app from blank, and I'm just going to do um, demo perseverance. Uh, I'm just going to create a quick little tablet app. I just want to show you a few techniques that we're going to use. Um, because sometimes when you're in um, uh, Power Apps within, um, within Teams, the editing experience is a, is a, can be tricky to use. So what, the first thing I'm going to show you is the way in which you can center objects. So if I have uh, anything really, so if I go insert, uh, insert, I've got a bit of feedback coming in there. So I'm just going to mute someone. 
Um, so if I go, and we're going to be using containers quite often here. So if I type in container, uh, containers are really cool, actually. Has anyone used containers before at all? Because uh, containers, um, they used to have this thing called groups, but groups were okay. They were, weren't a full experience. You, it was kind of difficult to do all the right sort of things. But these things are quite cool because you've got, you know, because you've got things like, you know, you can put things inside containers. They move, you know, it's, it's really easy to use them. But the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pop a little border on this thing, maybe stick it as a border of four so you can see it properly. And now I'm going to actually center this object but using a formula, but it's just quite a nice formula. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go onto the, uh, onto the X property um, and I'm going to send to this object. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, actually, where is the X on this? Um, and I, I could sort of test you guys. So how could I send to this object? Mathematically, how can I send to this object? And I'll give you a clue. There is a property called parent.width. So I can is use it based it. on the app, based on the app, parent, based exactly. on the so so yeah. what I can do is I can say parent dot width um divided by two, which will get us part of the way, but not quite there. Because the issue we have is that the the object itself has width. And because of that, we need to get rid of the the width of the object self dot width but watch what happens when i um self dot width um so self dot width is the width of the object that you're on at the moment but if you do the whole of the self dot width you've gone all the way the other way so if you then divide it by two it goes and puts it in the middle and you can do that with the height as well and and you can in fact you can grab this right and you can actually go and put something inside this. So say, for example, we get a button or something like that. Uh, let me go there and we go button and we drag it in here and put that in there. And in fact, if I just on this thing here um, and I go onto the X property and I go self.width, uh, parent.width minus self.width over two, then what will happen is that when we move this around, you know, this is nicely centered. Well, it's sort of centered uh, because actually if we went then we go on to the Y property and then do that, but make it the height and the height, um, then it is, it is beautifully centered in where we want it to be. And in fact, if we actually grab that and we go on to the container itself, uh, in fact, I've just messed it up, haven't I? <laughs> So if I if I go and grab that and, and I go on to the um, the Y property and just do that, that will center there. And then if I go on to the X property of this, um, then I can go on to here and go on to X property and um, and then that will center that object there. And I think that's quite cool. Um, and. And so one of the things that you can do with this sort of thing is that when you've got containers, um, you can container, container. So if you go and put another container inside here, um, then we can do similar things with that. So what we can do is we can, we can then do things like we can do a fill property uh, on this and we could make it light gray. And then on this container, you could make the fill property of this and make it white. Uh, and then you start to get these ideas around uh, around how it is you can make things look nice um, um, as far as your apps are concerned. Obviously, you can you can sort of use maths and so on to um, to to make it look nice. But we'll be using this little formula here later on when we start putting things together. So we're at we are at 15 minutes. We've created a team. We've created a Dataverse for Teams instance, which is essentially a database into which we can put data. And then I've just talked a little bit about these containers that, that we've got here. 
Um, and then maybe one thing, one another thing to talk about is maybe this idea of how I create these um, an image that um, that is going to flash. So, so I'm going to go on to Mars Rover. I'm just going to go and find myself uh, an, a decent image here. So maybe I will grab that image there. Right click, uh, copy image address, then go back here and go on to power apps and then go That's insert really image and then maybe grab that there because what i want to do is show you how to oh, okay. make the image fade so um, well if you start up give a shout i'll come oh just a bit mute in there so if so one of the one of the I'm going to say issues with when I first started preparing the app was was when the images were coming in they weren't fading in and out and because they weren't fading in and out it was a very harsh image coming in and I felt that that wasn't the effect that I wanted I wanted it to be much nicer than that so what I then th thought was that actually if I had a timer so if I go input and then I do a timer um then what I could do is I could, you know, change the timer. Let's make that duration 11,000, which is which is 11 seconds. Uh, and then what I could do, in fact, if I make it three seconds, 3,000, then what you can do is I can make the uh, transparency. Um, I can make it um, timer one, oh, timer one dot value over time it might be one minus this timer one dot duration now it may be flipped around in fact so what you might find on this is actually going to make it fade into the background so what we actually want it to do in this case is that we then make want to make it actually go one minus and um, and then that way what we'll have is an image that fades in which is quite nice um but the issue there is that it doesn't it's kind of okay um, but what i then wanted to do was to make it so that it then held for like um five seconds and then faded back out for three seconds uh, and so what i ended up doing was i ended up saying well actually uh, i ended up uh, on this thing i ended up putting an if statement around it so i said well if um timer one dot value uh, is less than 3000 then do that um otherwise do make it zero um well that's pretty obvious that it's going to do that but uh we'll we'll uh, we'll see anyway i'm just going to do that because that's going to be the next stage so what we'll see in a minute is that the we're actually going to get 3 seconds out of a timer with a duration of um, of 11 seconds so we should this should work okay it's going to going to fade in over three seconds by the end of three seconds it's faded in then it's going to hold but it's not actually going to fade back out again so what we then do is i am doing this completely on the fly actually these formulas um uh, so so then what we do is we then kind of pop another if statement um Otherwise, if timer is greater, uh, is less than or equal to uh, 8,000, then we'll make it um, a zero. Otherwise, do, uh, and I, this is where it gets a little bit interesting because I have to kind of get the timer one value and take, I think I've got to take 8,000 off it or something like that. Um, so it's going to be something like, uh, oh, wow, this is going to go a bit horribly wrong, I think. So what I'm going to do with that, you get the kind of idea here that I'm, I'm doing here. Uh, and if I show you the here's one I prepared earlier bit and um, the, the, the final formula I ended up with was um, transparency. Yeah. So this is what the final formula ended up being 
in order to make it all work. So if I kind of grab this, um, I've got this timer out uh, underscore one. So if I go and grab that and cheat my way to doing this, um, it'll be, it'll fail, fail there. But if I kind of do uh, timer, oh, I need to make sure I've got the actual field. That's it. There we are. That. Then it should be happy. Yeah, so it should be happy. So what we should get now is it fading in over three seconds, holding for five seconds, and then fading out for three seconds. I think that's really nice. It took me more time to do this than it took me to do most of the rest of the app. Um, so any questions at this point in time? Shirley, how, how are you finding that so far? I like that. That's really nice. I yeah. know it's the little things, right? It's the little things that actually make all the difference, isn't it? Yeah. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to pop this into the chat if I can. Uh, where is the chat on this thing here? More chat. There we are. So I'm going to do that and pop that in the chat. So you've got the formula that you need so long as you call your timer, <laughs> apologies for the name of the timer, timer out one, underscore one, as long as you call it that and you attach your, your image to that, that is almost the most complicated thing that we're going to do today. Because I can't remember how the formula works either. Um, so, um, so back to the main bit of the show. Th this, this does make it work very nicely, though. What we now need to do is we now need to create a data set within Dataverse that can hold a small number of values. So in, in Microsoft Forms, I've got uh, effectively it's got name, uh, a bit of text and a URL for the image. So that's all I need to make this thing fly. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm now going to go on to Dataverse for Teams um, and it's, it wants me to sort of name this app. OK, so um, I'll call it, um, uh, oh, let's call it Perseverance. Perseverance. Um, well, I don't, this could be interesting. I'm not even sure what, what environment I'm actually in. Uh, Perseverance demo. Click save. Now, one of the things that is interesting here is that, that if you look at your experience, your user experience when you're in Teams, it's a little bit bewildering. You don't quite know. I don't quite know if I'm definitely, definitely in the right environment. Whereas my experience, if I'm if I'm building here, I know that I'm in my personal productivity environment. I, I know it for definite. Whereas I don't actually know for definite what I'm in here. Now, one thing you must do, and you or that you must not do, um, Control Shift. No, oh, no, I can't. So this area here, if you click any of these things here, you've just lost your work. So you must must save your work. And oh, it didn't save. Wonderful. That's interesting. Didn't save. Never mind. Well, I've only actually done I've done nothing at all so far anyway. So I'm not I'm not too fussed. I and mean, to be honest, I just wanted to I did actually want to check where it was actually trying to build this app. So I'm going to go and I am going to just go on to new. No, I'm going to go on to the Perseverance team here. And it's now saying I'm ready to create things in here. In fact, you can see there's my app that I created. So it did actually create it into the right space, but I didn't know that it was actually creating it there. And what I'm going to do is um, I really need a data set. To, to work with. So what I'm going to do is it's always best to do the see all option. It's not going to have very much in it because there's nothing there apart of a canvas app. And um, but it does give me the bit to click down on the new uh, and then I can click on uh, table. So new table um, and and I'm going to call this um, I'm going to call this something fairly generic like presentation. Um, does that sound reasonable? I want to sort of like if I wanted to expand this out to to like if if this was to be loads of different presentations and so on, I think this wouldn't be a bad name for it. 
So display name, um, I'm not really sure. I'm going to have to use this. Um, so I have to be really careful with this um, because I must use um, this display name field. Um, I'm just going to check the description and so on, create update settings. What, what we'll find on this is there's only a certain amount of text you can get into a display field uh, or into the very first field that you use. Um, but I, I'm just going to use I'm just going to use this as I'll just leave it as name and presentation. Um, yeah, let's just leave it as name for the purposes of this uh, demo. Um, uh, I, I get really caught up on on naming things correctly, but I'm just going to have to hold on to this thing um, and and you know pinch myself. So I'm going to click use this so as uh, display um, text. Let's call it display text or something like that. Because when I'm building the flow, it's going to be a little bit easier to read. So I'm now going to click create on that, and it's going to create a table for me. Now it shouldn't take it very long, um, and I'm going to click on on this table now. Uh, and what I want to do is I want to. You can see it's created loads of fields. Um, and it's created. Where's my display text? There's my primary thing. And I want to go into the advanced options and it's saying max length of 100. I want to make sure it's something a bit longer than that, just in case you guys um, like come up with loads of text and Ooh. I can't fit it in. So um, I'm going to click done on that. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to put a bunch, another um, uh, image URL. So uh, add column IMG uh, IMG URL. And then I'm going to just going to make a straight text field. I'm not going to get clever about it. Um, and I'm going to go on advanced options. And sometimes these URLs are quite long. So I'm going to make that 400. Um, and what else do I need? Oh, and I actually want, um, and I want another one. Um, and I'm going to say, and it's going to be submitter. And I make that text, and I hope nobody's got a name that's longer than a hundred letters. So I'm going to click done on that, and then save the table. Um, so I haven't really explained what I'm doing very well. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stop sharing for a moment and just say hi to Cheryl and just see um, and <laughs> see if there are any questions. Oh, maybe I won't stop sharing. And um, how how is that for you at the moment? Do you feel as if you start to see a bit of the direction of travel of what we're where we're heading towards? Yeah, I do. When um, I guess it's the whole creation of the is it the Dataverse for Teams environment that I'm not, you know, the app side of things. I sort of am following. OK, but this bit here. So when it when you go in if you create create an app the first time you create an app then that provisions you absolutely yeah your environment right yes. okay so what do you get with that environment what you know what what is it giving you it is um, a, and it is a full dynamics i say a full dynamics environment it is a it's a dynamics environment with some restrictions there are some field types you don't have there is you can have up to a million rows and up to two gigabytes of space now the first 500 mega space is already used by the whole provisioning process so you've really got for 1.5 gigabytes of space something like that and you can then anyone in that team can use it and there's various bits and pieces to do with permissioning but I'm not really getting into that whole kind of okay. murky world yeah. of who can do <laughs> what and, and so on. I'm just kind of getting into the, like, here's a place you can put data yep. that's not SharePoint, you know, okay. you can yep. actually do stuff yep. with it. Yep. But so, it sort of behaves like, you know, like, I could, sorry, I call it CDS, but it's not CDS anymore, but yeah. it sort of behaves like that sort of environment. Oh, it absolutely is. It's exactly right, the okay. same thing. You can, you can take, um, CDS dataverse yeah. solutions and bring them in here you know it's okay. the same thing um cool. 
but obviously with the restrictions and so on. So if you had if you had behaviours in CDS that were not compatible with Dataverse for Teams, you wouldn't be able to um to to use them. So now um what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the I'm going to go back to the um I'm actually going to do a cheat a little bit here. And I'm going to go, so I need to kind of pick up the pace a little, a little bit here. And I'm going to go into apps. Um, and I've got my app here, but I'm going to do new. Um, and I'll do a Canvas app. And I'll do a tablet form factor. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to con uh, connect it to the table that we just created. Um, and, and so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to call it um, um, editor app. I don't know. I'm just making it up as I go along, really. Um, but the, what we'll do here is the first little bit of magic. And it's the only time that you can do we can you can do app magic within um, within um, Dataverse for Teams. It's just that that first instance. So when we connect this to our table, it will start doing the doing the magic in the background. And I know. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. One quick question. I think Paul's got his hand oh, up. Hey, Paul. Hi, Roddy. Just a quick question. When you were doing the the, the image, uh, the Mars rover, was it? Yeah. And the transition, would you put them in a container? Do you know what? I mean, I use containers because it's a bit flavour of the month for me. Um, I, I can't remember. I don't think we actually need to do it inside a container this time, but it does offer some interesting possibilities because you could have a border around an image and things like that. Like a it, thing is, what we'll find later on is that now this thing isn't working, by the way. So I need to, in fact, I don't think I don't think um, Data versus of Teams is, is actually working. So I'm going to restart that sort of thing there. Um, would I need to use a container? Definitely not. Right. But if you are creating galleries, then containers are really, really good ways of creating a better way of presenting your information. It won't work that well with images because all the images are going to be different sizes and so on. So, yeah. um, but this thing here is, you can see it's playing ball with me here. Um, and I think it's actually, um, I think that this has has now done what it's yeah this is my editor app and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to connect it to presentations and what's going to happen is it's going to whiz around um and, and do its best at like finding the fields that were interesting and so on and i haven't found any fields that it thought were interesting um so it's decided that that the text field is in this item dot image url etc cetera, etc cetera. So what we need to do is um, we need to give it a little bit of data to eat. So I'm going to go on to the preview, then I do new record. Um, in fact, you can see it's a bit like, it's a bit mad really. Um, it hasn't worked out any of the fields that we need here. So I'm going to go on to edit in the formula bar. Um, so yeah, it's just gone a bit mad. Um, so unfortunately, if buddy, 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 bar, Oh, wow. And you can just see already that this app that they've made is full of containers. And the reason it's full of containers is because it will work on a mobile phone and all those kind of interesting things. Um, but it's kind of tricky to um, to explain it because it's got containers within containers. Uh, and those containers got different behaviors and so on. You've got hidden, pro hidden properties. And, and in this case, it hasn't actually worked out you know, correctly first time. So um, it's not like I can't build an app. It's just that that this thing here is um, is a little entertaining. And um, so what I might do is I'm just going to go and whack in. It's actually only got one screen. This app has. Um, I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to go new screen. Uh, I'm just going to put it as a blank screen, and I'll do that anyway later on. And then do. Um, I will do. Um, this is where when we build apps here, we have to build them all from everything from the left hand side. So I'm going to do a new uh, gallery and I'm going to do a vertical gallery um, and I'm going to connect it to presentations. That's fantastic. It's got nothing in it. I know that. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and bring in a button. No, uh, 
The interesting thing here is if you actually do a search on icon, it doesn't actually find it, um, but you, you can add an icon. And then once you've added the icon, then you can put it wherever you need to put it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do insert a form. And what I'm going to do is going to do an edit form. And I'm going to connect that to uh, presentations. Um, and that's nice and happy. Go to the edit fields, add a couple of fields and we should be okay. So I'm gonna do display text, image URL, uh, and then, I don't know, presentation. I don't think I need that. There's one more field I need. Um, oh, it's the, it's the submitter. That was it, and click add. Then I'm gonna get my fields should come in, image URL, wonderful. Um, and that gives me the ability to, um, to then create something. So what I'm gonna do on here is on select new form um, and it should be called form one. I think they're called edit form one. I think this is this one here. Oh, it's called form one. Um, new, new form, form one, uh, form one. But to be honest, these are the sort of challenges you end up with. So if I go onto here, you'll see it doesn't display. If I hit the plus button, it does display, in which case I can actually start to um, uh, to talk about some things. I'm conscious of time here. Wow. Um, display text. Um, uh, here is some text. Uh, image URL. Hopefully, uh, no, it's not that. I'm going to do that. that. Uh, copy link address. Then I'm going to go on to here, grab that, paste that in, submit and put Rory and then do OK on that. Oh, I don't have a submit button. Well done, Raw. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get edit fields. I'm going to do this, add a custom card. Sorry, I'm going quickly. Um, go on to here, go on to the button and drag the button onto the screen here. Hello, button. OK, button. And then on select on select of the button i am going to do submit form uh submit form and what form i'm going to do i'm going to do form one close the brackets and then that should mean that if i hit this um oh yeah next be it between a zero and 100 i change that i i tell you what i change that i definitely change that i absolutely definitely change that so um just Deep joy there, hey. Um, so let me just go and check that for us. Um, so I'm going to do a save on that. But these are the joys. These are the joys. I did this first time and I did it and I made it 400 and I changed that. Um, so I think I saw it, Rory, swap out just as you saved it. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Just, just okay. as you saved it, I saw a little 100 pop up. Our awesomeness. Okay, but these are the challenges that all of us will face when we do these things. So um, let's just kind of let's just stick with it. Um, so um, what I made sure I just press save, by the way, because when I click on home, I lose everything. In fact, I just lost absolutely everything. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a build and then I'm going to go to I'm on perseverance going to see all um, because I can't see my table. And then I'm going to go onto the table and I click on the table. Then I'm going to go onto my fields and then I go image URL. I'm going to click on the field there and then go to the advanced options, change that max length, pop it in as 400. Click on there. You all saw that I said it was done. Ah, it might be that I didn't save the table. I doubt it, though. Um, and we should be OK. That means that we can now go back to our apps. Hopefully we'll see our app appear here. This is my editor app. I'm going to go and edit that app because I am so determined. Yeah, look override means nothing because i was i definitely came out of it in fact that also shows that this way of clicking on home to come out of it doesn't really take you out of it it then sort of it has a bit of a wobbler um so um but we we are closer than it than it looks uh, on this in fact that wasn't the one i wanted uh there Bill. actually rory what is the right way to come out of the app well, and that is a very, very good point because um, I'm going to go on to. That is a very good point. It, it's I'm not I'm not entirely uh, it like like if it was in normal power apps, it's dead easy. You just go file and then close. Yeah, you know? it's what you do. Um, yeah, I just whereas didn't in see here, option, it's though. a bit different. So I'm just going to go on here. Um, 
And look at that. It's, it's even not saved some of my stuff. Okay. Um, so here, build. Um, in fact, that now thinks I'm still in there, doesn't it? So um, editor wrap, click on there and um, override. Yeah, I'm obviously breaking things like nobody's business um, going in and out of these things. So I'm sure there's a way of doing it. Um, but because this whole thing is generally available, there won't be any you know, significant changes to it as, as far as I'm aware. Now, if I go to this thing here, screen one, there's screen two, I'm gonna move this screen up. Uh, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into this preview, hit the plus um, image URL. This thing is not so unhappy, display text. Here is an image and then click and then submit it is Rory and this better work. Click the plus on there, here is an image, go over there and then onto that thing there and this thing here is going to be on my image and i'll do pop that in there and we should see an image come in if that doesn't come in i'm very upset i'm an upset person now that's probably because my image that i brought in wasn't actually a decent image so go on to there uh copy copy image address sometimes they're not actually decent images that does end in jpeg as well so you would think that that would actually work um so so i'll try again try again um and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go on this thing here and i'm just going to go and um what should i do um so i uh i'll pop and i want to put an icon in really uh i can add an icon bring it in there which icon do i want well i want the right icon do that one there uh which means that then on select uh edit form which form i'm going to edit i'm going to edit form one um one and then i'm going to go on to this thing here and on the item property i'm going to make sure it says gallery um one in fact is that yeah gallery one dot selected so if I go on to there, that means that I can now edit that. So I can then, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to have a look at this thing here, see see how big a thing it actually is. Goodness me. Uh, I need to make sure this is on multi-line um, and then just see what's going on in here. No, it's rubbish. So what I did. But that one ends in JPEG. So if I click button on that, Ta -da! I know it's a small image. I know it's only small. It's over there in the corner. I promise you. So, um, so I click on that. Yeah, you may laugh. You may laugh at my tiny image. Now that's partly because it's to scale because it's really far away. Um, so, um, so we've got an image come in. Now, here's the thing. We are now at quarter two. Wow. Um, we're going to run over, okay? Let's let's be honest. And um, what I'm going to do now is I have now got something which actually works. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a flow. The flow will then pull the data from the form that we've got, and then we'll bring it into this data set. And if it works, it'll be amazing. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm now going to go on to um, uh, press the save on there. Let's just see what happens. Manage here. So I go back. Maybe that's the right way of coming out of these things. Um, and I'm now going to do, oh, wow, it's even better. Cancel. Um, so build, and I'm going to go to see all, uh, and I'm going to go to new, uh, and then I'm going to do a cloud flow, and I'm going to do an automated cloud flow. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make I'm going to make the trigger the form that I've created when a new response is submitted. So click create on that. Um, and I'm going to go and have a look for that form that I previously created. Any second now, it's going to be good. Yeah, and uh, uh, Didio was is happy that we're using uh, forms and we're having using flow which is great um i mean the these experience these these teams flows experiences are a bit peculiar like if you were in normal forms it'd be like it would just sit and work and it would be like no problem at all but this is this is a different sort of 
you know, this is a different sort of experience. Um, and this one isn't actually bothering to work on this occasion. And I'm going to just say, well, I'm going to try again. Um, let's let's maybe it's because of the name. So uh, pull from forms. Uh, I'm going to click create on that. Um, and let's see what it does. OK, it, it maybe I'm supposed to put the name in first. It wouldn't normally be a problem. Pick a form. Um, and what am I going to do? Um, Mars Perseverance Rover Slideshow, new step. Uh, what are we going to do next? Um, so I need to um, uh, add a row, add a row, add a row. Um, and they call it common data service. So insert, no, oh, come on. So I want to do create a record. That's what they call it. Uh, common data service. Now I need to be a bit careful with this. I don't know if I've done it correctly. No, I have not done it correctly. Um, I'll correct, delete that because what I want to do is create a record. And it needs to be the current environment. Otherwise, um, yeah, you can see this one which says update a row, da 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 da, add a new row. Seems like an odd way of calling it, but I didn't think that's what they said uh, it would be. Uh, then it's going to create a connection to the common data service, choose a table. It should only have one to choose from. Well, there's lots of tables, obviously. Uh, presentations, awesomeness, presentations, what we're going to put in there, display text. Uh, in fact, um, uh, get response, something like this, get response. Uh, get response details and um, unique identifier of the form, which is the same one that we had a minute ago, which is the Mars Rover slideshow. So your job in a minute, by the way, is you guys are going to be pumping this thing. You guys, it will not work. It will just be that little tiny, lonely, little minute picture um, if you guys don't do your bit. So on there, so what is the URL of the image? So what text would you like to see? Presentations, awesome. Go on to the advanced options, image URL. What's the URL of the image? Awesomeness, submitter. And then what is your name? Go into there and then click save on that. And we are done. Right, um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come off there it's saving that so i'll let that that run uh, and i'm going to go and get myself a new um a new picture so let's go and get that one it's quite a nice one there right click copy image address and uh, there uh, and i'm going to go um and i'm going to do i think i've got to preview it this i'm, I'm in a, so the form that you're using is in the chat right at the top of the chat uh so uh, preview that's it so what is your name uh rory uh text would you like to see is going to be that uh oh that text you don't see uh checking my tracks uh and then what we should see is i just want to make sure it's actually done its thing uh, i'm going to click back on there and so now we have a um i'm going blind here so what i was expecting to see was a cloud flow so and this is where some of it is getting slightly interesting. So we should have seen that we had a cloud flow in here. There's my option for cloud flows. So there's my pull from forms. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to make sure that when people have actually submitted, I can see it. And somebody submitted already. Yay. So we can again have a look at what they submitted, sort of. Um, and uh, so when new response is submitted, get response bid details. And so there's different details. Uh, we got near has uh, done a submission and I'm about to do my submission. So where am I? Uh, over here somewhere, uh, submit, click on the go button, awesomeness. And now what I'm gonna do is gonna go back to my app and not that one there, uh, to this, okay. I need to go on to, in fact, I'm just going to go onto the tables and just show this and um, the fact that data has actually come in. Um, we can, I'm pretty sure we can get it. Yeah, edit data. We'll be able to actually see the lines that have come in so far. So we've had different people add the data in. And now it is my job, my pleasure to see if in 10 minutes I can actually build an app that actually looks mildly interesting. 
So there is a lot to learn in this this next uh, few minutes that comes up. How are you getting on, Cheryl? Do you need a little good. lie down this or anything? Good. No, this is good. This is good. This is all good. <laughs> <laughs> So the magic will happen any minute now. And if you want to kind of put more bits and pieces in, then uh, then by all means do so. I am going to close that now, though, because I am going to build an awesome app. Um, I'm going to go on to, um, and let's go on to this Perseverance demo. I'm just going to build it there and then just see what happens. It's actually quite, a, in a weird way, there's a lot to do, but I am going to be, um, I'm going to be borrowing like nobody's business. So I'm going to do um, I'm going to do new screen and it's going to be a blank screen. And uh, in fact, I'm going to do another thing as well. Um, I am going to go. Uh, I'm press save on that. Um, I need to move the screen up because it's going to be. I, it's only really one screen that I've got. Well, that's a nice idea. I will die in a second if I don't get any power. Oh, I'm going to have to go and get my my charger. That's okay. I can entertain you all right. I've got some really useless, really useless facts here. Does anyone know how long it takes to get to Mars? No? It takes seven months to get to Mars. That came from NASA. I'm back. Oh, Rory, I was just about to stun everyone with my useless, my compendium of useless facts. <laughs> well, the reason why the, the charger keeps going downstairs, I don't know if anyone's played Jackbox, but we only play Jackbox on my computer and and because we play it for a while, I tend to bring the charger down and the charge ends up being downstairs and stuff. So there we are, there we are. Good. So I, I'm back on and we're going to make a cool app. So I'm going to move this up here. Um, now there are settings on here and they are a tiny bit buried. Um, there it is, buried. They're just not where they normally are. So settings, advanced setting, in fact, screen size and orientation. Now uh, on this one here, the way in which you make things so that they're dynamic is you do scale, you turn off scale to fit, but we're actually gonna, we're gonna turn it back on again. To be honest, there's something wrong with this anyway, because it doesn't really, it doesn't really, uh, you'll find later that it doesn't work as well as it might. Um, and I'm gonna click the back button here, and now we're gonna start to make this thing um, look a little bit cool. So I'm gonna do a, um, I'm gonna go and put in, uh, in fact, I will do just just for um, just for um, Paul. I'm going to go and put in a component. Um, so component. Oh, it's a container, isn't it? Container, container, container. Right. We're going to make that go full screen. Um, what I'm going to do inside there? I'm going to put an image. I could have done this as a background image, but I'm just going to do it for fun anyway. Um, so I'm going to do an image. Um, okay, insert image. I'm, I am digressing. It's probably because I'm rushing, um, but and I'm going to bring in an image, 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 image. Right, do that. Go on there. Bring in an image. Uh, I think I've got one in here, uh, and then do that. That that. There's an image there, and I'm going to do that. I'm going to fill it. Then what I'm going to do is I am going to going to bring in a label. So label. Uh, label, bring the label on there. Why are you doing that, Rory? The reason I'm doing this is because uh, I want to do the RG. I oh, know, so uh, color. Color is going to be the what is this? RGBA uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, I don't know, 0. 0.5. Let's see what that does. Oh, that is very weird. So I don't, oh, I'm being stupid. So it's Phil. Um, so fill, fill, and it doesn't seem to want to get to the fill property of a label. I think I might be selected on the container. I think that's the pro my problem. So fill. Oh, maybe, maybe labels don't have fill in this world. 
And it looks like they don't have fill. How bizarre. Labels don't have fill properties. That's we a all... bit of a shocker. <laughs> That's a bit of a shocker. Why would you not do have a fill property? Um, well, out of sheer determination, I will find something which has a fill. What about shape? Shape. No, because you can't get to shapes. Uh, shape, 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 shapes, shapes. Uh, okay, there's a rectangle. Pop you on the screen there. There you are. I'm going to make you. You are. I'm going to sort you out. So it, you can see it's a bit of an awkward experience. I'm going to go on to the fill property um, and I'm going to go uh, RGBA 0, 0, 0, 0, uh, 0. Point, I don't know, 0.5, something like that. OK, uh, so what I like to do on these things is maybe just make a really dark version of whatever it is that's mildly interesting. So it's kind of quite good for spacey things. Now what we're going to do is what well, I'm now needed to I now need to start cheating and borrowing from from uh, elsewhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, I'm going to bring in a video, 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 and I'm going to go and grab the URL there and pop that in there. And where's the chat? The chat's down here somewhere. Nope. Nope, can't find the chat. Chat's down here. So uh, there's a bit of that for you if you want to pop that in there. And um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, um, so I'm going to do a checkbox. And the search on this, as you can see, is a little bit challenging. And um, so I'm going to pop a little checkbox in there. And uh, you can see that it's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of kind of, um, things that were 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 designed so because it's designed they're all designed to be teams apps so you're not supposed to use them the way i'm using them i don't think um so i think color so you don't even have a color property on this i don't quite know why you wouldn't have a color property um but what i wanted to do on here was i wanted to have um i called it uh, okay, checkbox one, and I want to make the visible property of the media thing. Um, checkbox one dot value. Uh, oh goodness me. Okay, so if I go onto there, then I can. This is like an admin mode that I've got now, so I can kind of show and hide things and so on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just move these around the place so that I, they're, they're not disturbing me anymore. There's my little checkbox. Um, and what I need to do is I now need to um, to bring in some little buttons, uh, bring you onto the screen um, so that I can create a collection. So I'll say collection. And what that will do is on the uh, on select, um, I will collect into call presentation um and i will do what i'm actually going to collect it's going to be the presentations presentations okay it doesn't seem to presentations um now i don't know why it would not be happy with that um because we have got a connection to that data source already or have we no we haven't actually so there's my problem is that I have not connected to that data source. If I go onto there uh, and then I go to add data and I can go to pre presentations, that has now introduced this. In uh, I'll just do this class. So, my data source. Uh, so bring into their collection presentations. And what that means is that when I click on that, um, I can. I've got an in-memory table, uh, and what I will do with that is you normally get to, to view your collections. I don't think you get to see the collections here. So what I'm going to do here is, look, this is an in-memory collection. So I'm going to go and create a little tiny um, gallery for us. So insert, uh, insert uh, mm, gallery, uh, just do a little, no, in fact, I'll do a table. Uh, data table they're quite nice anyway pop that in there and what it's going to have in there is cold presentations and i'm going to pop the fields in there add field and i'm going to do 
you can see there's submitter image URL. If I don't need that and display text and then click add on there. Uh, and you can see that mm, the text isn't really easy to see. Um, but you, but actually these are the people that did the submissions and so on earlier on. So, uh, and now that the, the thing that we're actually going to do here, we now finally need to get an image going on the screen. So I'm not going to go for presentation. I'm just going to get this thing kind of coming in and going out. And then, and then that will, uh, that will kind of keep us all nice and sweet. And um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring an image onto the screen, pop that on the screen there. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the image that on, is on here and we're going to make that image as to, to be first. And this is a little bit technical here. So it's going to be first call presentation um, and dot. What field do we want? And I'm going to do URL. Oops. Uh, it's going to be IMG, G U R L. And so that's going to bring my image in. That will bring in the image. Now, what's going to happen here is the, I'm going to pop another little button on the screen. So button. In fact, I'll do a copy of this button here. Um, and I'm just going to do, uh, and I say text is going to be remove. Now, what I'm going to show you that it is that what you can do is on select, um, uh, I'm going to say remove from what, what from I'm going to remove from cold presentation um, the first. Um, call presentation. So what that means is the very first record it finds is going to remove. So may, maybe think, in your, think to yourself, what's going to happen when I click this button now? What do we think is going to happen? So I'm going to click on the button now and Nirev's image should come in. Now, OK, look, it might not be, you know, for all I know, it may not be an image that that will resolve um, well and so on. So that's just kind of so there's there's Peter's image of uh, I don't know if this is space related. Um, uh, but I've you know, I've um, but but these are, um, you know, so this is in fact I, this this probably has really interesting um, words here. But um, so what I'm going to do on here is I'm now going to going to um, use the same idea uh, and I'm going to bring some text in. So text, 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 text. Um, so on to there and then do it should be a label, 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 label. Right. Drag that pop it on the screen there. And I'm obviously too stupid enough to to work out how to, to do the tech, the color on this. But um, the text that's going to be on here is going to be display text. So we go on to there. And now that display text will be there. The first digital image of Mars hand colored from the raw data stream sent back by Mariner 10. How amazing is that? So what I'm going to do on that is I need to change the color to white. And because the color is white, when I bring it, come on, you. It's not it's not playing ball with me. So I'm going to drag that across there. There we are. So I'm going to hit that checkbox now. So now we've got that kind of coming in. Um, and what we're going to do there is we are going to make the text a bit bigger. So let's make the text. Let's make it 25. Mm, I, oh, I think I'll make it 30. I don't know how much text people have put in elsewhere. So what we're going to do is then we're going to borrow from that um, that. Uh, that centering idea that we had before. So I'm going to go into the X of that. In fact, I've wrecked it already by the looks of things. Um, so never mind. Um, so go back, 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 back there. So I'm just going to pop it in the middle there. Um, and what I'm now going to do is I'm now going to show that we can click that remove thing and then check in my tracks. That was the one that I did earlier on. Is this getting interesting? Because what we're now going to do is we're going to hit that. We're going to we're going to pop the timer in. We're going to change the um, we're going to change the transparency of the image based on the timer, and then we're going to actually make the timer then hit the remove button so that we'll then end up scrolling through our uh, our collection. So if anyone wants to put more stuff in, that would be great. 
Um, and so what I'm going to do is I am going to now I'm going to pop a timer in. OK, uh, timer, uh, pop the timer in, pop it on there. And what are we going to do? I'm going to make this 11,000, 11,000. And then that's good. And then what we're going to do is on timer end, what are we going to do? We're actually going to select, um, uh, I'm going to call this BTN remove. Um, so on select, on timer end, select um, BTN remove uh, and then click that. And that will then move us on to the next stage. Uh, so what I'm then going to do is I'm going to make sure that the timer has got a repeat on it. So it'll just keep going through because I want to, I want to break, don't I? I want to have that, you know, I want to have to sit back and relax and watch my amazing presentation. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to go back to the, the, the this image there here. And actually it was called timer out one. And um, so I'm going to go back there da, 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 well, onto here. Let's call this. Um, so I'm going to grab that and I'm going to do transparency and then I'm going to pop that in there. It's not going to be happy with me. The reason it's not happy is because I don't have a timer out one, but I will have in a minute. And I'm going to do this here. And now it's disappeared, but we should be able to do this. Now, I did actually uh, do something on the text as well. Um, and I am, uh, I did something on the uh, color of the text. And Oh, uh, yeah, I actually, yeah, well, we'll see if this works anyway. I'll pop it on there because I might be able to actually get the 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 transparency on the, the color here. So go on to there and it's not called image 2.1. It's called image 3, image 3. So what I've actually done is I've also changed the transparency of the text as well to relate to the what's on the image. So if this works, I want a big round of applause. So good. So what I'm going to do is on this thing here, collect con presentation presentations. That's fantastic. Um, and I'm going to hit the preview and we're going to see if this thing works. Now, two, three, four, it's hold and hold and hold and breathe, breathe and breathe and then breathe out, breathe out. We all breathe out and breathe in and breathe in. <laughs> And this. Fantastic. Thank you, Rory. Yay. Wow. You got it. You got it. That, that is, is good. Lovely. That is good. That is so good. That is wow. good. <laughs> that is really good. Yeah, that's right. Really I'm so nice. glad I came to this presentation. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Yeah, that's good. I love it. That is brilliant. And do you know what? If anybody has submitted more things, so it'll come to the end and it won't be, it won't be a bit clueless because it'll just keep trying to press the button. It's just going to be like going press and press and press. So it's a bit staffed. But actually, if I click the collect, um, the collection thing, it's actually done more and we've got more people. And what we can actually do here is on this thing here, I'm going to make it a clear collect, clear collect. Next. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do a shuffle. No, <laughs> I'm going to around this thing. Here, shuffle presentations, um, because that way we will get a different presentation each time. So if I click on the collect thing there, it's in a completely different order. I'm going to click uh, there. There we are. Um, and so I'm going to click the go button there. So now we've got this thing coming in. I'm really enjoying this. This is good. <laughs> this is really cool. How clever is that? It's very, very cool. I thought that was a bit of spam, that first one coming in <laughs> with, some, with someone doing their doodles. That is really good, though. Uh, now, um, yeah, any questions? I think that's it. That's me. I'm done. I'm done. I'm happy. Um, so I will just send you the um, the te the on the chat. I will send you the bit that the way in which I managed to work the um, things. Sorry. 
Oh, I don't even know how to do it. I'm going to stop sharing now anyway. Um, and I'm going to pop this, the way in which I did the transparency at the end. Wow, there are some people still here. Cheryl, it's not just me and you. <laughs> no, it's, well, that was so interesting. Really great, really great. So we, we covered a lot of ground. We covered a lot of ground there. Um, any questions, anyone, feel free to you know, unmute yourself at this point in time if you've got any questions uh, on, on what we've covered. Did you just run over all of that again? <laughs> <laughs> I'll get the Mars Rover. Same time to tomorrow. <laughs> but was there anything in there that looked impossibly difficult? What? What? Lots of it. But well, it, I think it's okay because you gave us the maths, right? I have to say that my, my brain, I was trying to figure that out and I was so glad when you just pasted it in. Yeah, do you know what? <laughs> I, I can't even understand. One of the problems with the one of the problems with the maths on it is that it for it to be transparent, you need a one, not a zero. So the, I know that sounds a bit mad, but it makes the maths change around to like to make it. So you got you actually want to you actually want to go down from one. Hold on, you want to go down from one to get to zero, stay on zero for a while, and then go up to one. Which in my head doesn't really make any sense. I imagine that you go up to one, go across on one, and then back down again. But it's actually the complete opposite way around. So, is that a Boolean thing, or is it just? It's just no, like no. It's it's a percentage. Oh no way! All right, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's just that it's um yeah a lot of the things that you see in you know, uh, you do see you know I mean there's only a few things where you see Booleans in the actual um uh, you know when you do RGBA that final A bit of it is the intensity piece in fact that's what we did wasn't it that's we we did the i uh, know we didn't do that on there but we did it on the color property interestingly enough we used that a piece was actually the that goes between zero and one to give you your your intensity of color and a one is a full intense color and a zero is no color at all so um yeah well, thank you for joining me, everyone. Thank you, Cheryl, for for um, for your company. Thank you, Matthew and Paul and everyone else. Um, no, it's Rory, it's very interesting. Thank you. Yeah, no, that was great, Rory. Thank you very awesome. much. Awesome. Thank Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you, thank you yeah. for <laughs> keeping us entertained, <laughs> Cheryl. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'd be sitting when Rory went to my, get his charger. My useless fact. Mars <laughs> fact. I have so many more <laughs> Mars facts. <laughs> I'm going to have to watch that back, Cheryl, for your. Uh, <laughs> Literally, my next, one fact. next time we go, next time I do that, I'm going to be away for about 25 minutes. <laughs> I prepared so many. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Put them on, tw put them on Twitter. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah. Well, can, Thank you, everyone. I hope you're all enjoying the course and learning lots as you go. Um, we've actually got um, we've actually got well over two thousand people on the course now, which is brilliant. Um, I massively appreciate all the people that have said, "Hey, we like this course and all that sort of thing." One of the reasons that the course I like the course so much is because I can have sessions like this. I don't have to ask anybody's permission. I can just decide I want to do an app on a Mars rover and just if people want to come, then they can come. Um, so I, I love the fact that, you know, and, and, you know, and I think that there's more scope for, I don't want to present all the time. I'd like other people to present and to give them a platform for just saying, hey, I quite fancy doing something or, 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 you know, we had previously, we had Paul and Matthew presenting apps that they'd created. Um, and I think there's scope for us to do, um, to have um, 
like app works like what am i call it surgeries app surgeries where people kind of come along and say oh my app's not doing this and you know i don't understand and you know and and then we see if we can you know solve a few things along the way brilliant well thank you for joining me and we will do this again sometime soon um i'm going to possibly go a little bit quiet on the on the that front shortly because um i've actually got another module coming that i'm really excited about i've got a module on design because we can all fiddle around with formulas <laughs> and things like that and but why is it our apps look so rubbish you gotta admit yeah. well you know. because there's no fill property right <laughs> <laughs> so and 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 so i'll be talking about things like um uh, gestalt principles so these are really fascinating principles about how we see things um i was reading a book about um about uh, generally about design about how you have uh, about how icons work and why they work and 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 how it's important to have things in consider and like for example if you're using icons in a way that nobody else is using them don't be surprised if nobody doesn't understand because because people use them in the way they're used to using them so i think that um yeah so i think that's all uh, good well thank you everyone and i hope to see you again soon please keep giving me all the comments in the in the chat on the course and please if you enjoy this sort of thing whack something out on twitter or linkedin whatever it might be um thank you again and i will see you again soon thank Take you thanks, Rory. Thanks, Rory. Thank Rory. Thank thanks bye bye bye, bye. 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 Bye.